Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video I'll be showing you how Dorico 1.2 adds sophisticated support for keyboard, brass, and string fingering in the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. Dorico has a rich musical knowledge of how fingering numbers differ for different instruments. And, as you would expect, this makes it extremely easy to input your fingerings. Dorico 1.2 adds a new button in the Notations toolbox for creating fingering numbers. With a note selected, click on the button, or use the key command Shift-F, and the popover appears. Type a number and press Enter, and the fingering is added to the note. Because you want to select the specific note or notes that need fingering markings, the popover does not advance, so simply navigate to the next note with the arrow keys, or select it with the mouse before opening the popover again. You can easily add fingering numbers to a whole chord by selecting all the notes in that chord before opening the popover. A quick way to do this is by clicking on the stem of the notes in the chord. Type the numbers separated by commas and Dorico will format them in a column and even work out the proper order in which they should be written, depending on whether the notes are being played by the left or right hand. Dorico does this automatically, but for those times that you need to specify the hand, type L for left or R for right before the numbers in the popover. There are several language-specific alternatives that can be used as well. The popover makes it quick and easy to create many different types of fingering markings. Type a series of numbers without separators to indicate fingerings for ornaments. When the same finger is to play more than one note, simply repeat the number in the popover and Dorico will show a small bracket to indicate this. If you prefer to see the same number written twice, there's an engraving option you can set. Show alternative fingerings by typing the alternative in parentheses, and to specify an editorial fingering, type the number in square brackets. When you need to show a finger substitution, separate the numbers with a hyphen. Dorico creates this as an instantaneous substitution, and you can choose in the engraving options whether to draw this with a hyphen or a small slur. If the substitution isn't instantaneous, you can use the handle to drag it to the desired rhythmic position, or you can set it precisely using the Substitution Offset property. To edit a fingering number, simply select the note or notes and add the fingering again, and this will replace the existing numbers. You can also use the Finger or Position property in the Fingering group of the Properties panel. Fingering numbers are an intrinsic part of the note, when you select a fingering number, you are also selecting the note. Because of this, to remove a fingering number, simply switch off the finger or position property. This can be done with a selection to remove several fingerings at once. By default, Dorico automatically adds cautionary fingerings for you to remind the performer that a fingering that was specified at a previous rhythmic position still applies for a note that is still sounding. Whether cautionary fingerings draw with parentheses, or indeed show at all, can be set in engraving options. You can choose to draw fingering numbers in a different font. On the Fingerings page of Engraving Options, set Fingering Appearance to Plain Font. Then, in Engrave Mode, choose Font Styles from the Engrave menu and edit the Fingering Text font. For keyboard instruments, fingering is positioned above the right hand staff and below the left hand staff. For string and brass instruments, it is always positioned above the staff. You can override this with the staff relative position property. You can also choose to let the position for fingerings follow the voice direction, something that can be useful in contrapuntal music. And while fingerings are usually positioned inside of slurs, you can control this either globally for the project or on a case by case basis. If needs be, you can always move the graphical position of fingering numbers in engrave mode. Dorico automatically adapts to format fingering for brass and string instruments. For valved instruments such as trumpets and horns, fingering is used to show which valves need to be depressed to produce a specific note. For example, to play C sharp on a trumpet, 
the first two valves must be depressed. Simply type 1, 2 into the popover, and by default, Dorico will stack the fingering numbers vertically, inserting a dot between the numbers. Again, engraving options allow you to specify various standard formats for brass fingering. Dorico can indicate the slide position for instruments such as trombones in either Arabic or Roman numerals, easily switched in engraving options. Use Arabic numerals in the popover even if you want to see Roman numerals printed in the score. When you select notes belonging to a horn, an additional property is available that lets you specify whether the note should be played on the F or B flat branch of a double horn, or indeed, on the alto E flat or F branch of a triple horn, or you can choose to simply indicate T for thumb. When writing for string instruments, use the indicate shift to next note property in the fingering group to display a line that shows the player the required direction of movement up or down the fingerboard. To help Dorico deduce the required shift, you can set the string notes should be played on via a new property in the notes and rests group. Dorico knows on which strings each note would be possible to be played for each string instrument. And you can type T into the popover to show a thumb indication for string instruments. If you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it. And subscribe to our Dorico channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.